Welcome to this course on introduction to the Python programming and its application. So in this lecture, we will going to see how to tune a model. Next, what we have to do is that we have compared the model and now we can go with uh, some of the optimization schemes. And uh, generally in this optimization, what we are trying to do is that we are going for the hyperparameter tuning of a model. When we are talking with respect to the machine learning, so we have a uh, hyperparameters uh, in which what we are trying to do is that we are trying to change the learning rate or we are trying to try to use a choice of an optimizer so that the we can get the best model okay and we can get the best accuracy of the models okay so we will be using this tuning of a parameter so we will going to tune the model we will be using the hyperparameter models using the random grid search and uh, for this what we have to do again we have to call the tune model uh, function so uh, again we have to write from pi caret dot classification import uh, what we have to import we have to import the tuning of a model so, so tune model and let me run this first okay and what we want to do we want to do do the tuning of a lda model which we have got okay so i am writing tune underscore lda equal to tune underscore model and which model i am using i am using the lda model okay let me run this now it is saying that again it will go into searching the hyperparameter okay uh, estimator is my linear discriminant analysis okay so it is compiling the all the scores and now you can see that this tuning models has given me the accuracy okay if i go back and see the accuracy of the lda model so i was getting the 96 percent accuracy okay and now when i have done the tuning of a model so how much accuracy i am getting i am getting the better accuracy okay of a 97.5 percent okay you can see that my accuracy of a previous lda has been improved okay sometimes it's happened that okay we are running a tuning of a model and the models uh, do not get a good result okay so it returned to the previous one only the original lda model which we have created